Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to find and replace artwork colours using Adobe Illustrator. So here I am in Illustrator, and I've got all this set to uh, to the default settings. And what I'm wanting to do is I'm going to want to change this artwork and the colours within this artwork to, and I'll just show you this in another layer, to this. This is what I want to change these colours over to. Now, first of all, how can I... Uh, set my colors now what I need to do is if the panel is not visible I need to go to window and down to swatches and here you'll see are my swatches now in order to add some colors right and we're going to be adding some Pantone colors I have uh, two ways that I can do this I can go to the little menu icon up here and go to open swatch library and go to color books and then pick one of the Pantone libraries I want to work with Alternatively, I could go to here, which is the Swatch Libraries menu, and just get there directly. And again, Color Books, and pick any of one of my color libraries. Now, for this one, I'll just uh, pick this Pantone CMYK library. And to add a Pantone color to the library, it's just simply a case of clicking on any swatch, and it will appear there, right, within my swatches. So that is the simplest, easiest method to use so I'll just delete that for a moment and I'll move this out of the way <clears throat> so here's how we can change these colors over so I want to change um, well I'll only want to change these three because this first one is the same so I want to change this color this color this color to these three tints of blue so in order to do that first of all I want to click and drag over the shape so I have my first um, pattern selected and then I'm going to go to edit, edit colors and recolor artwork. Now in this version of Illustrator, this um, template comes up, uh, this palette rather comes up. But what we can do is we can go to advanced options and we can get this view, which makes it a bit simpler to understand. So these are the colors that I want to change. So you can see here that these are the current colors and there's all four of them within here. So what can I change them to, right? So obviously I want to change them to these colors. So first of all, if I pick this darker green color here, which, you know, if I um, hover over it, this is, you know, I know this is my duffel bag Pantone color. So I can double click on this swatch here and a color picker comes up, you know, uh, for me to pick. Now, I don't want to randomly select colors because I already have this swatch planned out here. So I can go to color swatches and this gives me my uh, swatch menu, which is everything within my swatch. So I know that I want to change 190415 to 194027. So I'll just select that there, click OK. And you'll see that all of the colors have changed automatically. Now, I could do this for uh, all my colors, but I'll just want to show you an alternative method that you can potentially use. Now, what I could do is I could select um, all of my items individually. Now, in order to do this, because this uh, pattern has been all grouped together and created with a clipping mask, so I need to double click to get within this. And if I just click on this one here, you can see these are all the shapes uh, within the uh, within the pattern here so that can be a bit confusing so I could go to my direct selection tool and I could click on one individual color and I could hold the shift key and then click a similar color and go through the whole thing to try and make sure I get every single document uh, every single shape rather but that can be time consuming and I, I could potentially miss one but in order to make sure I do get them all I can go to select same and then same fill color. And what that's done is that's selected all of the shapes that have the same color of this one. So I know that this is the swatch. So it's Pantone, you know, 0514. And I know I want to change that to 0201. So I will just click on that. And as you can see, it's changed automatically. The uh, third color in here, I can just click on that and that is the whole 
rectangle in this instance. And another option is I could just click and drag the swatch over to that and therefore the color will change. So those are the various methods I could use to change my colors of this pattern. Now, something that's very important is, you know, bearing in mind when I do change my colors, let me just show you uh, what not to do. So if I click and drag over all of this, I've got everything uh, selected. If I were to go to edit and edit colors, and recolor artwork, and I go to my advanced menu, and if I were to say, pick, you know, I'll, I'll just take this color and I'll just pick a, say, a neon green. You'll see what it's done is it's changed all the artwork, every color that's the same. So let me just cancel that. It's very important that you lock any artwork you do not want to change. So in order to do that, I'll just click and drag over all of this. I'll go to object. I'll go lock, lock selection. And then when I click and drag over everything again, if I go to edit, edit colors and recolor artwork, you'll see here, I'll pick the same neon green color. It's now only recolored this one, which is the colors that's unlocked. So that's an important thing for when you're editing and re-editing your artwork. Okay. So I hope you found that tutorial useful. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch.